What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Hornbill Smart Lock. Now, unlike other smart locks that use the deadbolt to lock the door, this particular smart lock is all in one. It's the handle, the lock, everything all in one. So if you wanna use it on maybe like a garage door that typically only uses one handle and a lock, or maybe an exterior door that goes out to maybe your backyard or something, this would come in handy. Now there's a few different ways you can unlock this lock. There's first your fingerprint, there's a keypad, you can use a physical key, and you can also use the app on your phone to unlock this door lock. It also has an auto lock feature in case you do happen to forget to lock your door. And it also uses a battery backup in case the battery inside the unit does fail. You don't happen to have your uh, key on you. You can always use a USB uh, cable to connect to this device to power it up just long enough to unlock your door lock. Now you can purchase this online right now and in case you guys want to pick it up yourself, I will be putting a link in the description. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use that link because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So first we're going to go ahead and see what you get inside the box. I'm going to go over the full installation and then I'm going to go over all the features and how they work. So let's go ahead and get started. So this particular lock is silver. It also does come in a black. So here we have our manual. We also have some guides in case you need to drill maybe some new holes or mount it. It comes with a Phillips head screwdriver, which is pretty nice. <laughs> it comes with a drill bit. Here we have all of our hardware and our keys. And here is the lock itself. It's pretty nice. It's like a polished silver. Seems pretty substantial. It does not feel cheap at all. So this looks like it's the outside portion. And then here is the inside piece. It's got your battery cover here, your doorknob. And these are pretty big uh, doorknobs as well. Easy to get your hand around and unlock your door. And it looks like it uses four AA batteries. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to install your door lock. We need to make sure that this little hole here lines up with the hole where the door lock is going to go. And when you install this, make sure that the curved edge is going towards the door when you install it so it, it closes easily. So we'll go ahead and put that in there like that. Another thing you have to be very mindful of is when you're installing this door lock, you need to adjust this little a hole here to unlock the proper way. So if your door handle is on the left side like it is mine and it opens towards me, you want to make sure you put like a screwdriver or something in here and turn this all the way uh, to the right. You see how it unlocks when you turn it down. And if you were doing it on the opposite side, you would turn this all the way to the left and keep going until when you turned it to the, the left down, it would unlock. So since my door lock is on the left hand side and it opens that way, I need to make sure that I rotate it all the way to the right. So when you push the handle down, it unlocks the door. I'm gonna use the screws that came with my old door lock just to make it easy. Now, like I said, you wanna make sure that the little hole here is directly in the middle of the circle. If your door is deeper, you can always extend this out to make this hole in the middle. Another thing you wanna make sure of is when you're installing this lock here, make sure that you make this little square level before you put the lock in or you're gonna have trouble later. So now what we wanna do is take our outer door piece. We're gonna take two of these little brass pieces here that have the screw ends in them. And we're going to screw them into the two screws on the side here. Now there is another hole that you could make on your door, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the two screws here. That's where we use that drill bit to drill another hole if you want it. So go ahead and take these and just screw these on here. Okay, and that's what it's gonna look like. You wanna make sure that the, the little ends that have the flat pieces are out and the totally round ones are screwed onto the door lock itself. Now, as you can see on the door lock itself, there are some holes in here. That's where those little brass pieces are gonna go in, right through those holes there. Now, the next thing you wanna do is take this plate 
off of the inside door lock. It just pulls off. There's no screws to detach. Then make sure you have a couple of these screws handy because we're going to need these to screw this plate into the door lock on the outer side. Now you're also going to want to feed the cable that comes off of the outside door lock underneath your door lock uh, while putting the brass pieces in the hole. So the next two pieces we're going to need is this long square metal rod and this little pin. Notice at the top of the little rod here there is a hole. We're going to need to install that into the outer side a lock portion and I'll show you that right now. So now if you look at the outside portion there is a little hole at the top here. We need to line that up with the hole on the metal rod so we can put that little pin through it. So here you'll take your outside door lock portion, we'll take the metal rod with the little hole pointing upward, and we'll insert it into the slot here. Then all we need to do is take our little pin and push it into the little hole on the top and push it all the way down. Just like that. So then what you want to do is you're going to feed the uh, metal rod through the square hole in the middle. These two pieces are going to go in the circles on the side here and then you're going to put this little connector underneath the lock in the middle. Now you will notice that when I put this through the door lock here it won't have the shaft on it. That's because I figured out later on in the video how to actually install it first. So just know that this is the next step in the installation and then you can proceed with the rest of the video. Just like that. Okay, so that's in there. Then we're gonna take our door plate. We're gonna feed the cord right here through this little hole, just like that. And then we kind of need to line this up so the screws are going to go right through these holes here and into those brass pieces. So now don't tighten these screws up too tight because we want to make sure we can still move the plate and the outside door lock to, to adjust them uh, straight up and down. So that seems tight enough so we'll just kind of eye it up here. So now we'll go ahead and tighten it up the rest of the way. Once you do that another thing I wanted to let you know is you need to once you figure out which side you want this handle to go, if your door has hinges on the right and opens up like mine, you want the handle to go this way. But if your hinges were over here and the door opened from the other side, all you need to do is simply rotate the lever to the other side and you can use it with the opposite side door. So once the bar is installed, we're gonna go ahead and take our inner piece we want to connect up this connector to this one right here. And then once that's connected, we want to make sure that the bar here goes into the square hole inside the latch. You might have to move it around a little bit to get it to fit, but it will and make sure you feed that cable down so it fits inside uh, that little cavity on the door latch. Once this is installed, we're going to take our three little screws here. We're going to put two up here and one down here. Okay, so once all the screws are installed and tightened down, we're going to go ahead and put our batteries in. So now before we move on to the application installation, you can put on your battery cover and then just push down on the lever to make sure that it actually unlocks your door. Okay, so now that we're getting onto the app installation, if you want to install the app for iOS or Android, all you need to do is scan the QR code and it should take you right to the app download. 
Okay, so there's the TT lock. We'll go ahead and install that. Okay, we'll go ahead and agree and we'll allow all the settings. We need to create an account, so we'll click register. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and press the plus button. We're going to go into door lock. Go ahead and touch any of the keys on the door pad. Click next. Okay, we'll go ahead and press the plus button. Okay, so it found the door lock. We'll go ahead and name it. So now that we have the app all installed, the very first thing you're going to want to do is to create an admin passcode. And this will allow you to gain access to your lock with a pad passcode initially and keep you from getting locked out. So now that we're in the app here, all we need to do is go down to settings. We'll go into basic admin passcode and this is where you can create your admin passcode. All right, so now that we have the app all installed and set up, we can go ahead and go over some of the features. Here, as you can see in the middle, it has a lock. You can touch that to unlock it or long press to lock the door. And up at the top right hand corner, it tells you how much battery life we have. You can send an e-key. Now, basically what this does is it sends somebody uh, an electronic key to get into the door lock. You can make one that's timed, you can make one that's permanent, you can use a one-time use key or a reoccurring. So you can send this to pretty much anybody's email uh, that you'd like. Basically it'll send them an email, it'll give them a username and a password to log in, but they must install the application uh, to be able to use it. As you can see down here at the bottom for the time, you can set a start date and an end date, uh, which is pretty nice. So here we have a uh, generate passcodes. If you want to uh, just give somebody passcode without them having to use the app, they can punch it in the keypad. Uh, again, you can make one that's permanent, timed, one-time use. You can make a passcode that will basically erase all of the other passcodes in the uh, door lock once this specific code has been used or you can make a custom reoccurring and just to do that I'll show you uh, the one time you can put in somebody's name and then generate and that's the passcode that they can use to log in for the one time so that's just something quick and easy to do again you can send somebody uh, an e-key this is pretty much a list of users that you've sent the ease the e keys for uh, and it'll show you whether or not they've uh, used or installed the the key on their phone you can create passcodes for the door lock as you can see I've created uh, uh, three different users and passcodes for that uh, you just simply push on here uh, you can generate a passcode again just like the other one whether it's one time timed or permanent uh, RF cards, these are pretty cool. It comes with these two little RF cards that you can use to just touch up to the door lock itself and it automatically unlocks it. You get two of those. You can set your fingerprints. You can put in you know, pretty much as many fing people's fingerprints as you'd like. Here's where you're gonna add uh, fingerprints for you know whoever you're wanting to get into the door lock seems to work pretty quick and easy. They also have a wireless key fob, which I don't have, but you can get. Uh, you can create authorized admins. Uh, it shows your records of people who have unlocked and locked the door and how they actually uh, locked and unlocked the door. And then here we have our settings, your basic information, your battery, validity period, name, lock group, and admin passcode. Uh, you can also buy a wireless keypad for this, which I don't have either. Remote unlock will allow you to remotely unlock your lock from uh, a, when you're away from your home, but you need to have the Wi-Fi gateway to be able to do that. I don't have that, so I can't show you how that works, but that's pretty neat. You can unlock, unlock your door uh, for somebody who's at your house if you're not home. You can set the auto lock feature. You can turn that on and off. And it is in seconds, so you can you know put in whatever or custom seconds, and the lock will automatically lock itself. Passage mode. This will allow you to set a specific period or day 
when you want the lock to be uh, locked or unlocked. So if you want the door to remain unlocked uh, from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., you can do that per day. Um, and then it'll automatically lock after that time. So that's pretty nice that you can set this too in case you're coming, go, coming and going frequently through that door so you don't have to keep unlocking and locking it. You can turn on and off your lock sound. There's a tamper alert that you can turn on and off. Privacy lock. This basically allows you to put in uh, a specific code before or after your code that you use to get in so nobody actually knows what the code is. You can set the reset button to on or off in case you don't want somebody to be able to reset the lock and use it. Uh, you can turn that on and off. The lock clock, you can calibrate the lock time. Diagnosis in case there's something wrong with your door lock. Upload data. You can import from another lock. There's your firmware update. Attendance, which uh, is used, I think, for businesses, but if this is for personal use, you won't need to use that because uh, it's for, I guess, maybe employees and your unlock notification on and off. And then if we hit the little three little lines at the top left-hand corner, you can see your account information. You can add a lock, your gateway messages, customer service, uh, your settings, again, there's the sound, touch to unlock, lock users, lock group, transfer locks, transfer gateway, your language, your screen lock. That's, this is for your application. Lock requires phone online, hide and valid access, and about. And then this also works with uh, different apps uh, such as Amazon Alexa and Google Home. But again, you're going to need to use that uh, Wi-Fi gateway if you want to lock and unlock your door with Amazon Alexa or Google Home. And that's pretty much it for the application. So now I'm going to show you all the ways that you can unlock the door and how well it actually works with each use. So first off is the app. So if you want to unlock the door, all you need to do is press the little lock here. and it unlocks the door. Very simple. And then if we wanna lock the door again, we can either use the auto lock or just press and hold the lock. Now we can also use the keys that came with the system here. It's a very slight little movement, very easy. We'll put the key in, all you need to do is rotate it up a little bit like that and unlocks the door. And then if you want to lock the door again, all you need to do is rotate it again so it's even with the lock and it locks the door again. Very easy. We also have these little RF keys that came with the system. There's two of them. You set them up in the app, assign them to a user, and all you need to do then is to touch this to the lock and it will unlock the door. Now, if you want to lock the door here manually, you can also do that by just holding in the pound button. Now, the door lock also has an anti-peep feature, and what that means is you can put in any combination of numbers you want as long as you put in the passcode for the door lock. So, if my code is 147258, I can then put in 3654 or that before the passcode and it'll still unlock but it won't allow people to actually know what the combination was. So I'll, I'll put in my actual code here. 147258 and as you can see it unlocks the door. So now I'm going to put in a combination before the actual passcode. 32589147258 and as you can see, it still unlocks the door because my passcode was still entered at some point. Now the fingerprint sensor also works really well and it's pretty quick. So you just set that up through the application with any finger you want and then you just use your finger to unlock the door. As you can see, it was very quick.
So unlike deadbolt smart locks that have a, the deadbolt that actually moves by an actuator, the little piece on here that goes into your door jam doesn't actually move, it all locks internally so you won't see anything move. So another thing I wanted to make you aware of is that the inside portion lever does not ever lock. The only part that locks is the outside portion. So as you can see, I'm pushing down on the lever and the latch does not, not move. But if I push down on the inside lever, notice that the latch does push in. So you don't have to worry about locking and unlocking anything from the inside. And then here I just wanted to show you how the emergency power works. So as you can see, I had taken out one battery from the device and as you can see, it will not work because there's no power. So all you really need now is a power bank and a micro USB cable or anything that supplies at least five volts connected to a micro USB cable. You plug in the USB, It powers up the device so you can put in your passcode or fingerprint or whatever. So I've been using the smart lock now for the past week and I really don't have anything negative to say about it. It works really well anytime I've used the passcode, the app, the key, any, anything to get into this door lock, it's worked without any issues. The build quality is also really nice. Again, it doesn't feel cheap. The handles are really solid, and I don't think you're, you're gonna have any issues on your end as well. Now again, you can use this remotely while you're not at your home. Uh, you can also connect this up with Amazon Alexa, Google Home. You can even connect it up with your Apple Watch to unlock the door lock, but again, you will need that Wi-Fi gateway. That's the only thing I kind of wish was a little different. I wish the Wi-Fi was built in instead of having to buy a gateway, but that's not really a deal breaker for me. Another thing I really like about this is it's not deadbolt actuated. Uh, like the deadbolt smart lock, sometimes the deadbolt might not catch. Uh, and you won't know if your door is locked or not. With this, there's no uh, moving part with that latch. You either lock, close your door or you don't. All the locking haps in, happens internally, so you know that it's gonna lock or unlock for you. This door lock is really great, especially if you have an Airbnb or something like that, because you can use it on internal doors. Pretty much any door that uses a single knob, you can use with this door lock. It's simple to install, easy to use, and it's not that expensive. So I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.